to share with you a very common uh, situation and uh, not so commonly uh, utilized now i am going to tell you about ductal restriction created by prematurely some substances which i'll show you the case studies what do the ductus do ductus is supposed to divert uh, the blood from the right ventricle into the descending aorta the rv in the fetus provides only 12% of the output to the lungs the rest of 88% goes to descending aorta through ductus you know imagine if ductus is narrowed by some reason there is a ductal restriction it would produce situation like pulmonary stenosis and not only that it would increase the flow in the lungs increased flow in the lungs would lead to pulmonary hypertension when the child is born and the pulmonary stenosis like situation would produce right ventricular dysfunction so what does premature ductal restriction do the features are there would be a right atrial and right ventricular enlargement and obviously the reason for that is uh, there is an outflow obstruction now because there is an obstruction more blood starts flowing to the left side and there is a reduced flow in right atrium and right ventricle and there is a reduced flow in the pulmonary artery as well now initially there is an increased velocities across the ductus but the, as the ductus closes the velocities actually become lesser so what are the consequences now of the ductal restriction you are going to see it here <clears throat> ductal restriction by any of the substances would produce a right ventricle overload causing a right ventricular hypertrophy then it can lead to a right ventricle failure a dilatation this would lead to a uh, fetal hydrops and even demise is known so how the ductus is visualized by an echocardiogram on a fetal echo when you do a sagittal view you look at the ductal arch once you see a ductal arch you see the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery and that is ductus arteriosus connecting with the descending aorta this is the ductal arch then then you can see the flow across the ductal arch and in case the flow is increased here this indicates ductal restriction same thing you can see it in a three vessel view where the ductus uh, uh, is a distal part of the pulmonary artery and it forms the v with an aorta and there is a restriction uh, flow in this area so if the velocities across the ductus is more than 140 cm and the diastolic velocity is more than 30 it has a significant uh, chance of having a ductal uh, restriction but we must understand there are normograms available for uh, velocities so that we can call it ductal restriction as the gestation increases the velocity across the ductus increases and close to 36 to 46 weeks even even 130 180 uh, cm per second is kind of a normal flow across the ductus <clears throat> why the duct is patent during uh, the neonatal during the uh, prenatal period and it closes as the child is born there are certain factors which keep the ductus open what are those factors prostaglandins which are produced by the placenta in plenty and we don't have lungs in the fetus uh, which can degrade these prostaglandins so prostaglandin are in plenty in fetal circulation and they come from the placenta secondly there is a reduced oxygen tension and as the child is born the oxygen tension increases then this leads to ductal constriction <clears throat> the luminal pressures also increase uh, after the birth and that also causes 
uh, closure of the duct. Now, ductus is not a very sensitive. Nature has created ductus sensitive close to the term because that is where nature wants when the child is born, the ductus should close. So, the ductus anatomy and its behavior in the early gestation is very different. It only matures at the 30 weeks plus and where even smallest reduction in prostaglandins would lead to ductal restriction. <clears throat> now, what are the factors which decide the ductus to be patent or what causes ductal restriction? The factors are the severity of ductal, uh, uh, the prostaglandin inhibition. For example, aspirin, nimoslide, diclofenac are very high uh, uh, on prostaglandin inhibition while the food articles which I am going to show you are less uh, potent prostaglandin inhibitors. Second is the duration of inhibition of prostaglandins. Thirdly, it depends whether the ductus is sensitive to the prostaglandin milieu change because after 30 weeks the, the, the ductus matures and that is where the prostaglandin and other things play an important role in ductal patency. <clears throat> I am going to show you now the case study. A usual case study, so 30 weeks gestation, the ENT surgeon gave a diclofenac and an antibiotic for an ear ache and she came for a, a fetal echo and you see there is a markedly increased velocities across the ductus and here you see there is aliasing <coughs> this is the ductal uh, view and ductal arch and you see aliasing in this area indicative of a uh, ductal restriction <coughs> now if the ductal restriction in this case too was very very severe what happens is that you do not see the ductal flow Notice this is the naota and this is the dilated pulmonary artery and pulmonary artery is dilated but you don't see any flow across it. Neither do you see any flow of the restricted ductus. Now you reduce the Nyquist limit and once you reduce the Nyquist limit then you see a flow across the ductus which is very severely narrowed and produces a very low velocity continuous signals across that and that is a uh, ductal restriction. In this patient also you see the ductal restriction is very severe and you again notice there is a markedly reduced flow across the pulmonary artery pulmonary arteries are dilated and then you see the pulmonary artery bifurcating uh, and you have an ascending and descending aorta. Now you see the flow in the aorta, flow in the aorta but no flow in the pulmonary artery at all. You see a ductus flow which is uh, uh, a reversed atrial flow indicating the heart failure you see RV which is hypocontractile and you see the tricuspid regurgitation. Again on this video you see there is no flow uh, or a reduced flow across RA and RV. So reduced flow in RA, RV and PA and they are dilated. There is only one differential diagnosis that is ductal restriction. <clears throat> now what happens postnatally is that you notice the right ventricle hypertrophy in a patient who had ductal restriction. This is day 8 and right ventricle hypertrophy is a residual right ventricle hypertrophy from a perinatal period. But the RV functions improve when the child is born, ductus closes, ductus is not required. Hypertrophy regresses, it takes time. Pulmonary artery pressures also recover but these patients are more likely to have persistent pulmonary artery hypertension following the delivery. 
अनयूजल केसेस केस फोर इज ट्वेंटी वन वीक्स जेस्टेशन इमेजिन एट ट्वेंटी वन वीक्स द डॉक्टर्स इज नॉट वेरी वेरी सेंसिटिव टू प्रोस्टाग्लैंड इन इनहिबिशन बट दिस पेशेंट वॉज गिवन ऊ फ्लॉक्सिसन एंड यूरोसपास विच इज फ्लॉक्सीट फॉर अ ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ यूरनरी ट्रैक्ट इन्फेक्शन एंड दैन एंड दिस इज वॉट हैपन देर वॉज अ डक्टल रिस्ट्रिक्शन द वलॉसिटीज क्रॉस्ड हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एंड जेन यू सी आफ्टर स्टॉपिंग दीज ड्रग्स द वलॉसिटीज नॉर्मलाइज another case 36 weeks gestation she was a dental surgeon and uh, she applied stretchnel over the abdomen with a large quantity and it produced a ductal restriction look at the velocity of 280 plus and a diastolic velocity of 45 this caused stretchnel caused ductal restriction we reported that in literature and we found that the active ingredient which caused uh, ductal restriction was magista plant rubia cordiofolia and this had an anti inflammatory cox2 inhibition properties which was documented by one of the research fellows on the on the rice on the, on the mice another unusual case another doctor 39 weeks gestation and that's what the the application of uh, the stretchnel cream now this is another doctor who came for a fetal echo and she took about 100 grams of uh, dark chocolate and that produced a ductal restriction which was normalized after stopping it and this was the next uh, fetal echo done after 3 days so surprisingly now you learned that application of ayurvedic or other products which are anti inflammatory be it as a, a stretchnel or stress re- reducing substances or it is a, a diclofenac ointment applied on any part of the body can produce ductal restriction we now have number of case reports on ductal restriction done by certain food products which are colorful that means they are full of polyphenols and flavidones now these agents you see the long list of the substances if taken in excess can cause a ductal restriction notice a green tea also can do the same thing <clears throat> this is a very nice study done by the linsky he's actually shown a healthy 46 uh, 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 ladies with the fetus is more than 28 weeks of gestation they had a normal ductal flow but who customarily used high polyphenol rich substances and that causes some increased flow in the ductus now it was control group was 26 healthy fetuses where now in this first group they this was the intervention group where they stopped the pregnant ladies to take polyphenol rich substances so once they stopped it and the velocities drastically reduced so that means the polyphenols can constrict the ductus even in a normal person a- another study done by the same author what they did was they they gave green tea to 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 goats and what how did they do it they gave green tea the only source of uh, water to these goats were green tea so they had to take green tea they after that they sacrificed that and then they looked at the fetai of all goats which were given the green tea had features of ductal restriction so all these substances in the food can produce ductal restriction that was the idea of telling you guys that be careful 
Now, these are the list of the drugs which can produce ductal restriction. Anti-inflammatory, you know that all polyphenols, green tea, dark chocolate, red wine, plums, I showed you a long list. Even steroids can do it. There had been uh, anecdotal report of two cases where even paracetamol produced uh, a ductal restriction. So guys, I just want to tell you, please very carefully tell your uh, the, the mothers that the pregnant mother they should avoid taking the substances which are likely to produce ductal restriction and if you know it you will be able to caution uh, your uh, pregnant uh, uh, patients thank you very much for watching it and uh, may not be a bad idea to subscribe the channel and uh, you know whenever i post something new you would immediately get notified Thank you again.